Hello, my friends. Well, today I am slugging. It's my slugging day. But let me tell you what slugging does. And if you want to be among the stars, like Jennifer Aniston puts it under her eyes and up here on her lids every night before she goes to bed. Tyra Banks does her whole body. Martha Stewart's a slugger. Doris Day was a slugger. And many other lovely women slugged with Vaseline. What I love more than anything is it gives you that glow in the morning when you wake up and take everything off. By the way, speaking of glow, I forgot to mention Jennifer Lopez. She is a Vaseline slugger too. So it's not just a TikTok thing, ladies. This goes back to my grandma and probably beyond. And I've been slugging all my life because my mom told me, because I had such dry skin that I had to use this, and I didn't even know I was slugging. So, you're going to hear something about all the good that Vaseline Slugger does. You know, normally you would slug all night long, but sometimes if you're just going to be hanging around in the daytime and you're not going to be seeing anybody, you can go ahead and slug. Now, the reason I'm talking about slugging is because I did talk about it in one of the last videos. And there have been several questions on slugging. And I do notice that many of you are binging on a slugging video that I did maybe five or six months ago. Now, I did put a little eye makeup on because the physical therapist was here this morning and I didn't want to scare anybody. So I did put that on. But all over my face, quite thickly, I might add, I have on Vaseline down my neck. Not too far down today because I have a top on. So let me tell you a little bit about what slugging is. Now, as a beauty tool, ladies, Vaseline is going to be your last beauty tool of defense. First of all, mostly you would do this at night and you would want to maybe start maybe a couple hours before you go to sleep, because by that time it will maybe be a little less excess on there. But the first thing you want to do is to cleanse your face really well, pat it dry, and then you may put on any serum that you usually put on at night, or maybe a little hyaluronic acid or uh, something like that. Next thing you would do is put on your moisturizer, and then you would put on the Vaseline. Now, the Vaseline is called an occlusive, and occlusives are something that keep moisture and everything in. It, it will not sink in beyond everything else. It also helps to hydrate your skin, and it gives you that glow in the morning when you wake up. So, I know uh, some of you might have some reservations about Vaseline and maybe have heard something or get scared when you see the word petroleum. But petroleum, it's not the crude petroleum oil. It's a refined, I think they call it petrol, petrolatum is what they call it or something like that. But you might want to check out Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre on YouTube does slug and does approve of Vaseline. Now, I like to put it on very thickly. I do slug in the daytime too. Someone did ask in the last video, do I have to slug at night? And no, you don't. And by the way, it will wash out of your pillowcase. Now, this is what it looks like. As you, everybody knows what Vaseline looks like. And you just put it on liberally and rub it in if you want, and then just let the excess go on. Love it, love it, love it. Put it on the backs of my hands as well. And many times over the many years, I have put it pretty much on my arms and my legs and everywhere, mainly because my skin is super, super dry. As a child, my mother bathe me in cod, cod liver oil. I'm talking the kind of dry skin that cracks and flakes and and it's just terrible. And when I put this on, I feel wonderful. Now I still use my Nivea every day and I love my bio oil gel. 
anything that's um, a little more on the excessive greasy side or oily side, I happen to love. So ladies, try it. Now there are other things you can slug with. I think people slug with Aquaphor and there is some kind of a slug bomb. Now this does have nothing to do with snug slugs or snails. So I think you know that. <laughs> I don't know why they call it that, but it's fun. So here we are today. As I say, I didn't really want to scare anybody coming around today. So I had to put a, a little eye makeup on, maybe put some jewels on today. So I, I didn't look like a, a slug. If you slug in the daytime, you have to be careful what you touch. Because I think I've already slugged uh, my my phone and my iPad. I know I've slugged my glasses because I can't see through them right now. I also wanted to tell you that I have sent away for extras of my little Wet n Wild Conceal Stick, and I think it's four fifty or something. It does wonders now. As you know, someone mentioned that I should put it on my hands when I'm on videoing and maybe on some of my little, what my mother always called my beauty marks. And I'm going to show you how well this works. Now, I do have the Vaseline on, but I think it will still work. I just take the stick and I will put it on my hand. I'm not going to, but I'm going to show you the difference. I hope it works with all the, the slugging that's on my hand. But... Can you see the difference between the two hands? I hope it shows up. I have a lot of uh, sunspots on my hand. And when I put this on, there is a big difference. Now, I've also been using it on my neck. And I just noticed that right in the middle here is one of my little beauty marks. So let's see how we can cover this up. So if I put it here, I have one over here, one here, and voila. It's gone, isn't it? Isn't this great? So pick some of these up. I think I ordered three because I do run through them fast. I'm just covered with little beauty marks. Thanks, Mom, for calling them that. What else I wanted to talk about? Let's see. This morning was Moosey's last day with Brian, the physical therapist that's been coming since he came out of the hospital. I think it's been um, six weeks now. Brian is leaving for Hawaii with his family for, uh, I think, a week or so. And, of course, we're going away, so it coincided at the right time. And I think Bill's allotted time for a physical therapist in the home probably has ended, too. And he's done wonders. As you could see in the last video, Moosey is walking better. He His posture has improved. And we will miss Brian. He has really helped I think I'll walk along with you. The reason I have this on, I'm in the process of putting everything away. And it's a beautiful sunny day out there, but it's windy and chilly. So I'm back to this again. Will spring ever come? I also got a text from Micah, Colleen's husband, today. And I was hoping that would be here so I could show you this. His text said, could you use this piece of Argentine beef rib? And it was a picture of something that's about this long, thin, and it looked delicious. It looks like it's already cooked. I guess they were out to dinner over the weekend with friends, and they went to an Argentinian steakhouse. And he, he said, you know, gee, would you like it for some soup or what? Because he said, we won't be using it. So I said, sure. So maybe when I use it tomorrow or the next day, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'll have to see what it looks like, but it would make probably a great soup. So I'll film that for you when I do it. Tonight, and right after I finish this video, we are having our supper early. It's, it's about 3.30, 4 o'clock. And I've um, sauteed some green peppers and onions, and we're having them with some hot sausages and some marinara sauce. So it's one of those yummy, I can smell it. Moose is dying right now with the smell in the house. Aren't my... New dishes pretty. I picked them up at the thrift shop. There were four of them. I should have bought all four, but I thought these would be good for our pasta. Now here's all my peppers and onions. 
all cooked and ready to go. Ooh, don't they look good? And in here, I have the sausages. I have four sausages in here, just resting nice, hot Italian sausages. And they will go on rolls with the peppers and onions. And we will have a feast. Oh, I know. They're not necessarily the healthiest food in the world, but they sure do look scrumptious, don't they? <laughs> okay. Um, I have a chicken, so I have a lot of meals I can get out of that chicken. So I don't have to buy any more food until we leave. I think we're set with with food. We've pretty much checked things off on our list of things to do. We still have to uh, pick up some more pills so we have our allotment. Moosey's pills already went up in the truck with Bill, so I don't have to worry about him. But I have to tell you what I've been doing today. I've been very busy, other than doing wash and folding and trying to get things together. I have been working on my closet. You know, I told you the the job of organizing and sorting my closet room is sort of a never-ending job that just keeps on going. The clothes that keep giving. <laughs> And I'm not buying any more clothes. I've come to that once in a blue moon if I see something. But today I followed a tip that someone, I think it was one of you nice ladies, gave me a long time ago. And I just have had so many other things to do. I, I haven't been able to implement it. But she said, if you are overwhelmed, and I am overwhelmed with my closet, because some things have to go out, the winter things, I'm still in the process. Actually, most of this that's been down here has gone out into tubs and has been hung up. But I'm still getting winter things out, trying to decide what will go to charity, what I will keep. And I had a lot of things that had to be hung up or washed or whatever. And the advice was, and I think this is good advice because it worked and... I've really made headway today. She said, take the clothes and bring them out of the closet and put them on your bed and sort them into tops that have to be hung up, t-shirts or sweaters that have to either be folded and put on a shelf or, or sent to winter storage. Your pants go in another one, and then anything else that has to be set up. Now, your accessories, I have a lot of scarves and everything. I actually put those in a big box and put them up on a shelf. But I have kimonos, too, and you know they're so light and flimsy, you can put four, five, or six kimonos on one hanger to begin with. So I've done that, and I did. I managed to take care of of a lot of shirts because I use a lot of shirts because of videoing and I managed to get a lot of the winter stuff out of the hanging closet so that there's a little more room for what I have. Now I didn't really do a good job last year of bringing summer in so I think I'll be able to get through the rest of the summer with the exception of a few things that might still be out there. So I'm doing okay and um, we brought the second suitcase in. As I told you, the first one has left with most of Moosey's things. And um, I am jotting down things. That's another tip one of you gave me. Thank you. To write down things as they occur to you. And one of the things that occurred to us was that Moosey, we didn't think he had, and it just occurred to us three days ago, we didn't think he had... Uh, up-to-date identification of who he is. And, you know, they won't let you on a plane without that. Now, we're not flying to Europe, so we don't need a passport. We do have them, and I remembered that at the last minute. He did have one of those, um, what they call real ID, just senior citizen ID. Moosey doesn't drive anymore, so he doesn't have a driver's license. So we worried about that for a minute. We thought, where can we get an ID quickly before we go? But in the middle of the night, it was bothering me two nights ago, and I had to get up, went in the closet, put the light on, and went to his dresser because we remembered that's where the passports were. And I went in there, 
brought them back to bed, put the light on, got my my little this magnifying glass out, and I looked and I saw that they expire in 2026. Oh, was I relieved because I thought it was soon or maybe having happened already. So another something that I can take that worry off my shoulders. So let me look on my list <laughs> and see if I've forgotten anything I want to say oh, right now. I did remember something. Remember, I always said you have to have something to look forward to, whether it's a rose that's budded out and is ready to come out in your garden, something as simple as that, or or seeing a child or family or just something. And that's what's going to happen this weekend. Now, I have figured out that I probably, besides this video, which might go out tomorrow or the next day, and today is Wednesday, by the way, I think maybe I'll do one more video before we leave, and that would probably come to you maybe Monday, we leave Tuesday. And it will probably include what I'm going to talk about now. You know, I owe you a rabbit hole story, too. I was going to figure out a thing and call it Throwback Thursday and make that my nostalgic rabbit hole story. So many of I've been jotting them down. New ones keep coming into my head. But I don't know whether I... I might have a rabbit hole story before this ends. I will probably do a little bit more tomorrow in this video and then put it up. But this weekend, we have been invited to two events. They're on the same day. One is in the afternoon at 2 o'clock on Saturday. And that is a cousin's party. Now... It's only for all the cousins, and that's all the children that were born to our kids, our six kids. And I think there's, how many cousins do we have, Moose? I think we have maybe 13 grandchildren. No, well, there's two age groups. They have divided the cousins up into two age groups. From Bridget down, Bridget is 40, and we have a lot of them in the 40s and 30s, some in their 20s, and they cut it off at Margie's son, Aiden, who I believe is 25. And then we start again with Ryan and Shannon and Lauren and Matthew and Dolan, and then all the little ones, and we have about four or five little ones, Mikey's kids. And that's our second group. So W reminded me of this. We thought we were seeing all the children and we have been invited. Nobody else, just us, because Molly, who is hosting this event, thought we would like to see everybody. And we might stop by. And then at five o'clock, we have been invited up to Micah's with all the kids have been invited. And the spouses, of course, it's Micah's birthday. And ooh, what's today? No, it's not until the 4th, I think. And Micah, who built a beautiful pizza oven in his backyard patio. You might have seen his patio in the back at um, my on my birthday, which I call dumpster diving day, where the kids all came and cleaned out my shed for me. That was quite a day. But... Micah is going to be baking pizzas for us and we'll be having so much fun. And that's what we are looking forward to. So I hopefully will do a little filming. Sometimes they say, mom, let's just enjoy each other now, but I will get a little filming in for you. And I love it for posterity too. So I think that's it for today. I'll do a little bit more tomorrow before I do my editing. I'm sure something else will come up and I'll see you then. I think I'm going to leave this on because it feels so good and doesn't bother Moosey one bit. Well, it's Thursday morning, pouring rain outside and cold and I'm back in my woolies again. I am going to try and put this up today 
if I it probably won't come out until noontime or mid afternoon. But I wanted to give you some previews about what will be coming up. As I said, I'm going to try and get a video to you maybe Sunday or Monday, in which case that would be about our our outing with our children and the spouses for Micah's birthday and Micah will be making pizzas. So if I can do some quick editing later that night, I'll hopefully get it up Sunday, if not Monday. But we travel on Tuesday, and I want you to know, many people have said, oh, we'll miss you for the next couple of weeks when you're gone. No, you're coming with me, ladies and gents. You're coming to Idaho with us. And from there on in, rather than being a travelogue, of course, I will show you a lot of the beautiful parts of Idaho surrounding our son's home, but it will be more about how a, 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 a super ager couple in their mid-80s traverses the air travel especially with a, a disability on board and some aches and pains in the hips and knees and how we basically are going to spend our next couple of weeks, what we will be overcoming and how we will generally take the trip. Let's put it that way. And we'll do the goods and the bads, the parts that didn't turn out so good. I hope there's not going to be too many of them. But um, I, I thought that would be an interesting way to present the videos while we are away and traveling. How we're adjusting to the new bed, for instance, what we're able to do in the daytimes and what we are able not to do. I know the food will be great. I don't know about the exercise. Of course, uh, Moosey's Brian now is um, has finished his stint with Moose. So Moosey will be practicing a lot of what he learned from Brian. I'm still having my little apprehensions and worries every day. There's always something. But we, we did solve the problem of Moosey's identification. Um, I found our passport, so we're okay there, and they're good until 2026, so we have a way to go. Now, I do want to talk about my hair today and the results of my Vaseline slugging from yesterday. As you know, I, I explained in this early part of the video all about the benefits of slugging and the part that I love the best is the softness the next day and the glow. Now, as you know, I love a glow and I think I accomplished that this time. The hair is put together very quickly and um, I've used some of my hair forms that seem to be falling out right now. Let me adjust this a little bit. But I do have here some things I want to show you that I'm taking with us. I have one of those very large sort of a, a leather. Uh, this is going to be my purse. My, my kids have said, you know, mom, don't you be traveling? You know, in the old days, I know you used to travel with those doctor bags and things on your shoulders. I said, no, 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 don't worry. We're not doing that. I basically, as you know, have sent a suitcase up to Idaho with a lot of stuff in that, mostly moosey stuff. In fact, I was looking for my white fuzzy slippers this morning and I realized I must have put them in that suitcase. But in here, I will put my iPad. I hope Moosey is, I think he has a little shoulder bag that he can probably put his iPad and his phone, whatever, in there. Uh, probably some pills. And I will also put those in here and make it not too heavy so that I can just put it on my shoulder and it will be the only bag I will have and I can keep it at my feet somewhere. It's only a two and a half hour ride. Thank heavens it's a, a straight through flight. Now, I know our kids have had some bad flight experiences within the last couple of weeks. Debbie and her daughter f tried to fly to um, uh, Texas. I think they were going to um, Dallas somewhere. No, H was it Houston? No, it was Dallas. And they it was, turned out to be a 13-hour trip with delays and bad weather. And four days before that, Mike and Colleen tried to fly to Texas to visit their buddies and spend a 
couple of days with them and their flight was totally canceled. They came home, isn't that weird, from the airport. So I hope we have my little worries about everything, but it's gonna be okay. So I'm set to go and got my bag here, which I'll show you here, and also my other suitcase, which is right here. I told you I went back the next day. I, I had such a coup on the first suitcase that I went back and found a wonderful one again. This time it was $8.98. And as Moose says, it doesn't look like there has been one mile put on this suitcase. It's gorgeous. And it really matches the other Samsonite. So we're set to go. <laughs> we are looking forward to our weekend. And today is a rainy day. So we're working on a few things in the house. And hopefully maybe this afternoon, Moosey and I will both get some me time in. Going to get Moosey spruced up and maybe myself too today as we head into the weekend tomorrow. So I would like to close and I hope that you keep in mind that for the next couple of weeks, you will be getting regular videos from me and it should be fun. We, despite all my little worries, we are really looking forward to this. And I thank a lot of you for talking about your travels and how you adjusted and made some changes as you traveled. Now we haven't really taken a trip in, I don't know, six or seven years. We, we did travel an awful lot prior to that. And, and so we, I think we, they're justified, our little worries. I'm the worrier, not Moosey. I will see you hopefully in a few hours if this goes up and enjoy your weekend. And hopefully you'll hear again from us maybe Sunday or Monday, and then we're off. I just love all of you so much. I love all your comments. I spend so much time reading them and I hope my responses are indicative of how great you make me feel as you comment so beautifully on so much of what we show you. Thank you again. I love you and God bless us all.